What's going on everybody? It's your boy Shogi from Shook Earth Media and today we're talking about the looming vote to go on strike. This is one of the biggest unions for film and TV production in the country and this week they're voting whether or not to go on strike. And this is IATSE, which stands for the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees. And it represents more than 150,000 people. And a lot of the creative people behind the scenes is a lot of the lighting guys, a lot of special effects people. It's, it covers a lot of things in the industry. And I thought we'd talk about what why is this happening what are their demands and what's going on so basically we have a small list of demands here they want to stop excessively unsafe and harmful working hours unlivable wages for the lowest paid crafts consistent failure to provide reasonable rest between during meal breaks between work days and on weekends and workers on certain new media streaming projects get paid less even on productions with budgets that rival or exceed those of traditionally released blockbusters. This is because we're, we're in the age of streaming, especially with the pandemic and everything. It really exacerbated what was already happening, which is less and less people were going to the movie theater. And more and more people are watching content on their streaming devices at home. Now this, at the beginning, was an unproven model for these companies and they paid their workers less because they didn't know how much of a return they were going to get on it. But now that this, these companies, Amazon, Netflix, the, these huge companies, and Disney+, Plus, some of the biggest media properties in the world are streaming exclusives. So we are in a different age and yet the business practices have yet to catch up or at least that is the claim that is being made here. So I've worked in film and television. I'm not going to say which companies I work for or anything like that because I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. But the way that the industry works is that contractually there is a 12 hour minimum per day. So five days a week times 12 hours a day is 60 hours a week and that's the bare minimum. And in my personal experience, you never work 12 hours and that's it. There's always more work to be done. So t a typical day is between 14 and 18 hours. I've had days go as long as 20, 21, 22 hours. I've had ridiculously long shifts. I have worked, I've gotten to work at 4 p.m. We worked all night and then at 9 a.m. the next day, I am driving home. I'm feeling delirious. I'm. It feels unsafe to be driving, and I have a half-hour drive to get back home. So that is what they mean when they are saying it's excessively unsafe and harmful working hours. I know that I personally stopped taking so many of these jobs because it was getting in the way of my personal goals. I wanted to... Uh, I want to be a writer. I want to make videos like this. I want to uh, get my own company going. Like there's a lot of goals that I have and I would just had no time for anything during the week when I got home other than sleeping and then getting ready for the next day. There really wasn't even time to clean my room to vacuum or anything like that. Like there's barely time to shower. It really was this relentless lifestyle that only really certain people can really do. And uh, it's very, it, it, there, every set that I was on, there were divorces, there were affairs, there were uh, just people not getting to see their kids. I mean, the director of the latest movie I worked on, he just had uh, his, his, the birth of his child. And I have trouble imagining that he had any time to spend with that child, given that film production, especially when you're the director, is that becomes your life. There's no life outside of work at that point. So, And on the weekends, I was just so exhausted. It was like I, I wasn't doing all the stuff 
all the goals that I mentioned, I just would be on the couch. I mean, some days we would have six, six day weeks. So I have a lot of sympathy for the demands here. And the fact that this is like an industry wide thing in such a profitable industry, that is where these grievances are coming from. Now, whether or not this strike will even happen it remains to be seen. We'll find out later this week. Um, and it's a, it's going to be a hard choice for a lot of people because a lot of people don't want to vote not to work. Uh, you know, they're going to have mixed feelings about it, at least. And I know a lot of people that I worked with, you know, like here's an example. One of the shows I worked on, we were wrapping up for the day. And uh, this was during the pandemic and stuff. So what we were doing was taking down this. Uh, they basically had these little tents. You've probably seen the meme pictures of kids like in band practice in these like little tents for each of the. So we had one of these tents for each of the extras and we were cleaning that up. Right. We were putting all the tents away. And the guy driving the truck when he got there, he was like, hey, guys, don't be in a rush because we're in overtime right now. And it's just like, we are such different people, man, because I'm so ready to go home right now. And it's like, it was a 16 hour day. I'm ready to be done. I need to go home and rest because we have another day tomorrow. And it was just like a, a very stark difference between the kind of person that enjoys this type of work style. I mean, of course, extra pay is very nice, but I, I can't buy sleep. I can't buy rest. So I, I I just found myself not really being uh, necessarily cut out to live this lifestyle years on end. I mean, some of the shows I worked on went on for 12 months or more. And just the idea of uh, I lived that lifestyle for so long, it, like, it seems like another lifetime. Yeah, and these uh, unlivable wages, I mean, you know, they're, they're, they're paying, you know, a minimum wage or a round minimum wage for some of the roles so they're asking for more money and you know we'll see what comes of it i'm a little i'm always skeptical of these kind of things it, of how successful it's going to be even if they do go on strike is that going to is that really going to stop the 12 hour work day or 18 hour work day as it is uh i i have my doubts so and i'm not a part of the union so i don't get a vote so i'm not going to tell you guys whether or not i support this or not but I will say that the lifestyle of filmmaking is not for everybody. And you really have to be a workaholic who loves what you do to really succeed in this business. And uh, me personally, it, uh, it, it didn't end up being the life's dream that I thought it was prior to that. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Hope you guys thought this was interesting and informative. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think down below. I will link this article here that explains a bit more about it. You can read it for yourself. They explain, uh, they, they, they have statements from IOTC about what their complaints are. And again, they're, they're saying, you know, talking about mega media, mega corporations collectively worth trillions, but it doesn't provide for basic human necessities like adequate sleep, meal breaks, and living wages. So, you can read more about that below. I would be interested to see if there's anybody who didn't agree with this. Uh, I'm curious, honestly, why there is such long work hours or how the 12-hour working day even started. Uh, it doesn't seem to be very common in other industries to have everybody working that hard. But uh, usually when people work that hard, it's an elected elective thing. Like somebody chose to work more hours. But in this case, it's like when one person has to work more, everybody has to work more, except for like, you know, people that aren't needed the full time. Um, but yeah, the lighting crew, the production assistants, like everybody has to be there all 12 hours plus. So like I said, I, I don't think I ever worked a 12 hour work day. I think it was always more. But that's just my personal experience, guys. Definitely let, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And give me a subscribe and a like if you like this video and you want to see more like it. 
I appreciate you guys watching this, taking the time out of the day to check this out, and hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.